All right, speckled trout are absolutely my favorite fish to catch. Nine months of the year, I target virtually nothing else other than speckled trout. I'll target some other fish after maybe I caught a limit or something like that, but on most trips heading out to catch specks. The great thing about speckled trout, not only are they fun to catch, but they're delicious to eat. Really, really good, tasty fish, very versatile. You can do all kinds of things with them. Uh, another great thing about trout is when you get on a hot trout bite, a lot of times you can just, man, you can just sink the boat with trout. They'll be stacked up, you'll be catching them one after another, uh, and they pile up in the ice chest pretty quickly. So a lot of times when you get back to the dock, you've got a good number of speckled trout to clean, and you really want to do that as efficiently but quickly as you possibly can. So I've got a great technique for getting through a big pile of speckled trout in no time. Uh, a lot of people think this is a wasteful way of cleaning fish, but it's not. I'm telling you, I promise you, on this video, we'll get comments from people saying, you're wasting a bunch of meat, but you are absolutely not. You can compare it to traditional ways of cleaning speckled trout, and you waste almost no meat. Paper thin amounts of meat, that's it. Uh, it's well worth it for the time savings. So what you do is start on the back part of the fish, between the anus and the anal fin. You cut down to the spine, then you run up the fish to the gill. You turn the fish, go down to the spine, turn your knife, run it down the spine, flip the fillet, Ideally, the skin doesn't come off, but sometimes it does. And there's your filet. Perfect, ready to cook, fried, baked, however you like to cook your trout, that is a perfect speckled trout filet. Now what people mistakenly think is that you've wasted a lot of meat here. You haven't. All you've wasted is those belly bones. You've got those rib cage bones right here. That's the only part of the, the filet that you're actually wasting. If you were going to take the time, perhaps, to go right along those rib bones, you could harvest maybe a little bit more meat, but it's not worth it. It's hardly anything at all. Do the same thing on the back side. Flip it. And that's it. Now a lot of times you'll have a little bit of blood right here. You just cut that off. 